Hello everyone, my name is Taylor Peach and today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute Emmy Grammy cat. But first I'd like to give a huge thanks to Scraptastic Yarns and Left is Right Crochet with Sandy. Both of these very kind ladies shouted out my little channel and now I have 36 subscribers! Yay! Thanks to every single one of you for subscribing to me. Hopefully I can make more content for you. Uh, I haven't been uploading a lot because I've been in college, but I just graduated, so I have a lot more time to make cute things like these. But thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Please let me know what you want to see me make. I do specialize in making Amy Groomy cute little stuffed animals. If you want me to make something specific, let me know. I'll make it. I actually found this free crochet pattern on a blog called A Little Love Every Day. It is a free amigurumi pattern called Pastel Pusheen, and she is very adorable. The pattern is free and very easy to follow. I'll be linking it down in the description below. Feel free to follow along with it. And now we'll jump into everything you need and how to make this cutie. First you'll need to pick out your yarn. You'll need a main color and a secondary color. And then you can pick out your crochet hook. I'm using a four millimeter, but you can use whatever size you want depending on your yarn size. And then you'll need a placeholder so you can keep track of where you are if you get lost in the number of stitches. You can use anything like a paper clip. Uh, you can even cut off a piece of yarn to just stick where you are. Next you'll need some scissors, of course. You'll also need a yarn needle. It is much bigger than a regular sewing needle. Um, you can do it with a sewing needle, but it is a lot harder, so I recommend a yarn needle. You'll also need some black thread and a sewing needle. And lastly, um, a little bit too big to show, you'll need some polyfill. It's just regular stuff that goes into stuffed animals. And this is a nice touch. Um, they're little stuffed animal eyes. If you're planning on making this for a young child, um, you might want to just use a marker to put the eyes or some thread instead of these because these could easily be swallowed. But if that child is not very young, then you can use these, like, I guess five years old or something. Okay, so get your main color of yarn in your crochet hook. What we're going to do is we're going to make a magic circle. Pay attention, I'm gonna show you how if you've never made one. Get the end of your yarn, lay it over your first two fingers, wrap it over, and then make a little X. Wrap it over the back again, turn it over, and you'll have these two little lines. Take your crochet hook, put it over the first, and then grab the second one right there. Pull it under the first. Take your fingers out. And then you'll have this little circle. And you're gonna wrap your yarn over, pull it through once. And there is your magic circle. And it's magic, because when you pull this, this little circle will disappear. But we're not gonna do that yet. Next, we need to make six single crochets into this circle. So we're gonna put it into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. That is a single crochet. That's one, two, three, six single crochets and count one, two, three, four, five, six. Each one has those two little loops right there. Next, we're going to go into round two. We will need to put two single crochets into each one of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll put it in this one. 
sometimes it's a little hard to squeeze it in there. Oh, there we go. Yarn over, pull three. Yarn over, pull two, both. And then we're gonna put it back into the same hole that we just did that single crochet into. Ta-da! Oh, almost. There we go. Okay, and so we don't lose our place. Our first single crochet was this one right here. There we go. So we'll know when to stop when we get to this one. Okay, we'll go on and do two single crochets into each one of these until we have 12 stitches. Okay, so I've reached back around to my placeholder and I'm going to count to make sure I did this right. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. So now I have twelve stitches. And if you've never worked in the round before, well, now you are. <laughs> you can pull this little thing closed. Now your magic circle has disappeared. And then I remove my placeholder. What we're gonna do is in this next stitch, we're gonna just single crochet. Just one single crochet. We'll go ahead and put our placeholder right here so we don't lose our place. It's much easier that way. Next, in our next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. This is also known as an increase. So if you ever see I and C on a pattern, then you just do that. Alright, next we're going to do one single crochet. And then another two single crochet in the next stitch. Sorry if you hear my cat. She's scratching at the door trying to get in. Oh my gosh, hold on. If you ever lose your place or you have to get up to do something like that, you can always just count to see where you're at. So our pattern is one, and then one, two, and then one. So here's one, one, two, one, one, two. So our next one is gonna be one. And then two. And then one. And then two. Oh! Happens to the best of us. When you reach your placeholder again, you should have 18 stitches. You can check to make sure that you do. If you ever don't have the right number of stitches, then you might have to redo the row. It depends on where you can catch your mistake. Like if I did a one here and a one here, I could just pull it out back to here and then do the one, one, two again. We're going to take a placeholder out and go on to round four. We're going to single crochet. And then put our placeholder in so we don't lose our place. Alright, so one, and then another one single crochet, and then two single crochets, which is an increase. Alright, so you will continue to do this pattern one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochets. You will do this until you reach your placeholder again, and then you should have 24 stitches. So I've reached the last of round four, and I'm going to count to make sure I have 24 stitches. There we go, we're done with round four. Okay, going on to round five. Mm. We're going to 
going to single crochet into this first one and then put in our placeholder so we don't forget where we are. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet again. And then we're going to increase just two single crochets in the same stitch. And that is our new pattern for this row. We're going to do one, two, three single crochets in our own stitch, and then two single crochets in the fourth stitch. And you're going to keep doing this pattern until you reach the end, and you will have 30 stitches. Go through it one more time. One single crochet, another single crochet, so that's two. And then the third single crochet, and then increase one, and two. Those are in the same stitch. All right, we've reached the end of row five. Now, when you read the um, patterns for crochet, it'll have um, each row or round. If you're working in a circle, it's a round. Uh, and at the end, it'll usually tell you how many stitches you'll have. So we're going to count to make sure we have 30. Okay. This is a common thing to do whenever you're making circular works, like a ball. This cat is kind of like an oval ball. And so if you make anything else like this, this is, a, this is probably the exact same thing you're going to do. Um, but also, you can start to see that both of these have different textures. Later on in our work, we are actually going to flip it. This is going to be the outside texture of your work. This is the inside. You know, this one looks a little bit weird. This one looks better. Whenever I first started learning Amigurumi, I learned from watching YouTube videos. And this is why I'm making mine. I was learning from other people, but I also learned to read patterns and whatnot. But the first work I did, I I didn't flip it, and so the outside looked like this. <laughs> so always remember to flip it whenever you're almost done, and you'll have to work on the outside, which is a little weird, but it looks better with this texture. Going on to round six, we're going to take out our placeholder and do a single crochet and then put our placeholder back in. Alright, so that's one single crochet, another single crochet, that's two, three single crochets, and then four single crochets. Oh, where am I at? There I am. Alright. After you get one, two, three, four, you're going to increase. And that's two single crochets in the one stitch. And that's going to be your pattern for this one. One, two, three, four. One, two. Go through it again. One single crochet. Two single crochets, three single crochets, four single crochets, and then two in the same stitch. One, two, and two. You're going to keep doing this until you reach your placeholder, and then you should have 36 stitches. Okay, we've reached the end of round six, and we should have 36 stitches. Going on to round seven. Single crochet into the first stitch. Don't forget that placeholder. Okay. All right, this time we're going to do five single crochets and then an increase, so that's one. Two, 
three, four, five, and then one, two, and the same stitch. And that's going to be your pattern for this round. And when you reach the end, you should have 42 stitches. Do that once more. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, and the same stitch. All right, we have reached the end of round seven, and I now have 42 stitches. So for this next part, you'll need to know how to count how many rounds you have. So we're going to start right here in the middle. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. You've got seven rounds. And that's how you count them. Because each has a little ball right there. It's a little bit harder to count them on this side, so just make sure you count them on this side. But the reason we need to know how to count them is for our next rounds, uh, round 8 through round 19, we're going to single crochet all the way around with no increases, and we're just going to keep doing that. And one trick that I like to do, I recommend getting a little piece of paper and then writing down which one you're working on. So I'm now going to be working on eight. I just finished with seven. So I'm gonna be working on eight. Write that down. We're gonna take our placeholder out. This one's very important for those steps. Single crochet, and then put your placeholder back in. Get in there. Okay, and we are just going to single crochet all the way around until we reach our placeholder. Okay, I've reached the end, and now I'm just going to take my piece of paper and check. There we go. So now I know I'm done with eight, and now I'm going to be working on nine. I'm going to go ahead and write out all through 19 if you want so you can know when to stop but this will make sure you don't do too many or too little and if you do lose your place then you can always count how many but I find this way a little bit easier so I don't have to sit here and count and then not be sure okay so I'm going to do this until I reach 19 just do single crochets all the way around for all of these through 19. All right, so all of these are just a bunch of single crochets. Don't forget your placeholder. I got finished with round 19, and this is what it should look like. Now it's time to flip it inside out. It'll just whoop, flip it just like that. Okay, and if you have a little hole or anything right here, you can just pull the little string on the inside. You don't even have to weave this in because it's already going to be on the inside. Alright, so our next step, if you are using safety eyes, now is the time to use them. If you're not, like if you're using buttons, you can put them in now. If you're going to use felt or a marker, then you don't have to do anything right now. But I'm going to use safety eyes, so I'm gonna pick some out. So if you're gonna attach your eyes first, you'll need to start from the top and you're gonna count down to the 10th row. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You're gonna put it in between the 10th and the 11th row. I guess here is fine. We'll just stick that in there. Wow. And then on the back, I'm gonna 
assuming you just pop this in. I've never used these before, so. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I've never used these before. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, and so then it says six to seven stitches in between. Ooh. I guess I'll put it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, good. It's gonna be stuff either here or here. Hmm. I guess I'll put it here. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. You just stick it in there and then pop this bad boy on there. There we go. Oh, it's so cool. I've never used those before. Okay. So there's our eyes. Perfect. Now, going on to the next part. You'll now be working on the outside, which is just the same as the inside, just on the outside. <laughs> Take our placeholder out. We're going to single crochet, put our placeholder back in, so that's one, we're going to do five single crochets. back on there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to decrease. And this is how you decrease doing single crochet. You'll go into the next stitch right here. You're going to yarn over, pull through, but don't do anything. On your next stitch, you're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that is a decrease. Alright, so then we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to decrease again. Insert into the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. And we're going to insert into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three of them. And we're going to keep doing that until we reach our placeholder. Alright, now you should have 36 stitches and count them to make sure. Now we're done with round 20. Move your placeholder, do a single crochet. And then put your placeholder back there. Okay, now we're going to do four single crochets and then a decrease. So one, two, three, four, and then insert, yarn over. Insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through all. Alright, one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. You're going to do that all the way around until you reach your placeholder. And then you should have 30 stitches. You should now have 30 stitches. I think you might be noticing a pattern already. <laughs> that means that we are done with round 21. Alright, move your placeholder. Single crochet, put your placeholder back, ah. alright, so that's one, now we're going to do three, so one, two, three, and then we're going to decrease, 
insert yarn over, insert yarn over, pull through all, blah, blah, blah. All right, so one, two, three, decrease. You're gonna keep doing this until you reach the end. Once you're done, you should have 24 stitches. Already getting that nice body shape. our placeholder, insert, single crochet, put our placeholder back, right, so that's one single crochet, two single crochet, and then we're going to decrease. Alright, one single crochet, Two single crochet and then decrease. You're gonna keep doing that until you get to the end. Once you reach the end, you will have 18 stitches. Alright, now you should have 18 stitches. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start putting our stuffing in because this hole is getting pretty tiny, and the further you go, the smaller it's gonna get. So, get your polyfill. You're just going to start stuffing it in there. Just random chunks. Make sure you shape it while you stuff it. Like if this side's poking out, like just push it back a little bit. Push more on this side. I think that's good for right now, as long as it's got its basic shape and it's got a little give to it. If you want it to be really stiff, you can, but I like it to be a little bit squishy. Round 24. Remove our placeholder, single crochet. placeholder back. Okay, this time it's just one single crochet and then a decrease. Once you're done with this, you'll have only 12 stitches. Oops, sorry. One single crochet, decrease. One single crochet, decrease. Make sure you have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And if you want anything else stuffed in here, now would be the time. Like those little build a bears that have the hearts in them and sparkles and little smelly good things. I've got a build a bear that smells like cupcakes and she's pastel. She's adorable. Alright. We're going to take out our placeholder. We're just going to decrease all the way around. There's no need to really put the placeholder back in now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the end. I'm going to leave a little bit of room right here. We're going to get our scissors. You cut off the tail however long you want. We'll have to sew it in. Just snip it right off. And then, let's see. Hmm. We'll just stick it in here and pull it all the way through. Huh. Stick in there. there we go. And then we will fasten this. 
Alrighty, we're gonna leave this and sew in later. But there you have it. There's the body of your little cat. Very cute. Next up, we're going to make two ears for this little fellow. Get right here. So we're gonna get our main color again and we're gonna make another magic circle. Focus. There we go. All right, so you lay it across your fingers. Wrap it over, make a little X. And then turn it around. Underneath the first. Grab that second one and pull it under. Flip it over, pull your fingers out. Yarn over, pull it through. And there's your magic circle once again. And then we're going to make four single crochets into this. So go in there, yarn over, yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four. Okay, then you can check, see how many you got. One, two, three, four. Stop being blurry. Ugh, there we go. I'm just gonna pull this closed. And then we're going to insert into this one. Ah, get in there. We're going to do a single crochet. If I can get it over there. There we go. Single crochet. And then we're going to increase in the next one. So we're going to put two single crochets in the same stitch, the second stitch. It's very hard working with the um, tiny ones sometimes. Alright, then we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to increase in the next, which is two single crochets to the same stitch. Alright. So now you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do the same thing. Single crochet into the next stitch. Increase to the next. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, and then increase. So then you should have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we are going to single crochet two times. That's one, two, and then we're going to increase. crochet hook fell out. There we go. Then you should have 12 stitches around here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's see. Should be able to flip this. There we go. Flip it. And there's your little ear. We're gonna cut off nice little tail. So we're going to sew that in later. And we'll just pull this on through that next one. You just pull it all the way through. Pull it tight. Okay, so now you're going to make 
exact same thing. Just another one of these things. Because cats have two ears. Unless you want to make a cat with just one ear. But then that might look a little funny. Alright, now you should have two ears. And you can just stuff the little inside yarn into there. If you want. Just get rid of that. That'll make it to where the ears feel like they have stuffing, but you don't have to worry about putting stuffing in them. Just do that to both of them. And then you'll just set both of these aside. Next, we need to make four legs. You'll need to make another magic ring. And then you just put five single crochets into this magic ring. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll pull as tight as you can. And then cut off a little tail. I would just, let's see, I'll just insert it into here. To pull it through. There we go. And that's it. You just have to make three more of these, four in total. So they're going to go on the front right there. Once you're done with your four little kitty feet, you can set them off to the side. And then you'll need your second color. You'll need to make a magic ring again. <laughs> so many magic rings when it comes to Annie Gloomy. You'll need to make six single crochets into your magic ring. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull that closed. And then your first stitch right there, you'll want to single crochet. Ah. And single crochet in the next. Then you'll want to increase. Single crochet again. One. And then again, two. And then increase. You should now have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you want, you can put your placeholder. Uh, okay, then I'm gonna single crochet into this. Now I'm gonna put my placeholder just so I don't lose it. Alright. And then we're just gonna single crochet around. Then I'm going to remove my placeholder. Now we're going to switch to our main color. And how we'll do that is leave a little bit of room right here. Insert into the next stitch, which is this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can confirm that that's it by counting backwards. And then Ah, so much yarn around here. Okay, then what you want to do is put this over top of your loop. Pull it just a little bit to tighten it. Not too tight though. And then 
get your main color, put that on there, and pull that through. Ah, there we go. And then we will just do a slip stitch, which is just run over and pull it through. Alright, so we've changed our color. We're on round four now. So round four through six, we will do pink. Just crochet all the way around. Single crochet. Alright, so that was four. Now going on to five, once you get back around, just single crochet into the pink. One, and just go around eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, That was round five. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it inside out because it gets a little bit difficult if you wait any much longer. Ah, it fits my finger perfectly. So we're gonna go around again. This is round six. I'm just gonna go around single crochet eight times. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, you can stuff this little blue and pink end down into the tail, the little short ones. And just stuff those in there. And leave these two out. Okay, this is the end of round six. We're going to switch back to our second color. And if you have your own way of changing colors, you can do that. This is just how I do it. Then you'll just single crochet around. Okay. Make sure you've done it correctly. Make sure you still have eight stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you'll go around with blue one more time or whatever color you're using. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay. Once you've done two rounds of your next color, you're going to go back to your first color. Ah, oh, get through there. Okay, and then you're just going to single crochet around again. Okay, right, then you're going to do that again. Eight single crochets.
seven and eight. And then you're going to switch to your next color again. Single crochet all the way around. Sometimes that last one is a little bit hard to find from where we switched colors. And then single crochet all the way around again. And I know this method isn't very seamless, but it's very easy. That's why I like it. And you can just always put this on the bottom and have this as the top. We're then going to switch back to our main color for the last time. And we're going to do that once more. Also, I'm not sure why this one was three rows and that this one was two. I'm just going off of the pattern. If you don't want this one to be just two rows. We want it to be three. You can always add that. But now, according to our pattern, we are done. You can just cut your secondary color off and stuff it in there. And then you want to leave a long tail for sewing with your main color. And so just ah, slip stitch that off. If it will hang on to the crochet hook. Ugh. Okay. There you go. There's your cat tail. Alright, now it is time for assembly. We're going to put all these pieces together. So you'll need your yarn needle. And first, we're going to close up this right here. Pull that through your yarn needle. Tie it. Okay. We're just gonna go through here and tie it off a little bit. I'd say that looks good. And then what I like to do is I stick my yarn needle down in here and I'll pull it out somewhere in here. Make sure you go in between the um, stitching. Just pull that through. Now, you're going to tug on this and then snip it off, tuck that in there. There. Now there's no strange little bottom yarn. We're going to cut this off of our yarn needle. We don't need that anymore. Throw that away. It's really up to you what you do next, but I guess I'll attach the ears next. I think. 
think that's a good place right there. Hold it where you want it. If you need this again, to make sure. Hold it up there. Alright, so. When you attach things, it's important to remember where your yarn is coming from. So right now, our yarn's coming here. Wherever we put this through, this is where it'll go. So if I put it here, this is going to end up over here. So we're going to put it through the closest stitch that we can, which would be right here. Okay. Stick it through this stitch right here, and then pull this pull that all the way through. So that's that's where our ear will be. And if you want to put any other extra stuffing in this ear, you can. Okay. Next, we're going to go into the next stitch, which would be this one. And then We'll go through the closest stitch to that, bring it back out, pull that through, there we go. Now we're making some progress. And then the next closest stitch will be this one, put that through there. figure out which hole I want to stick it through. I guess right here is fine. Pull that through there. Looks kind of like a pig like this. <laughs> okay. Next stitch. You can go ahead and pull it through if you've got room. Then we're going to bring it through this stitch. You just gotta eyeball it. There's no one way to do this. Ah! Sometimes the stuffing doesn't want you to come through. through. There. Okay, go to the next one. This is really just eyeballing it. I've just experimented with um, attaching most things. Okay, that seems pretty attached to me. <laughs> and then I like to do what um, I already showed you, which is just stick it through one of these ends, pull it out over here. That way this yarn's inside there and there's no way that it's just going to get pulled out. Okay, so there's one ear. And we'll do the other one. Okay, so I'm going to do the tail next. And for the tail, you might want to stuff a little bit of stuffing into there. Just get really fine pieces and put in there. You can get a crochet hook to stuff it all the way to the end. Or a pin or something, whatever you got. Just stuff it in there. Now we're going to flip our kitty around, and I'm going to try to hide this little weird jaggedy stuff, so I'm going to turn it upside down. 
attach it right here. You'll just want to attach these the same way you did the ears, just on the back. So when you place it on there, make sure you've got it right where you want it. And then always insert your needle where you want this to go. This will be right here. And I'm just going to come up and stitch. There we go. So that's where our tail will be. Really attaching things on any groomy. It's just practice is all it is. Um, I've been doing this for... I've been crocheting for about what, six years now? I don't crochet as often as I'd like. But maybe I'll be able to crochet more now because I just graduated college. And couldn't actually graduate, graduate, like walk the stage because of the whole virus and whatnot. But that's alright because I'm not big on ceremonies. Well, I am, but I graduated high school and that freaked me out with so many people there, so. Graduating once is good enough for me. That's good enough, I'd say. That'll be what keeps your cat sitting up. Cute little cat. Ah, adorable. Next, of course, is the um, little feet. And they will be placed here. These are really small, so it's going to be hard for me to do on camera, so I'll be back once I finish that. Okay, I've attached all the little arms. Here's these two, right under the eyes, and then the little feet. Now I'm going to try to embroider the mouth, which is going to be a little line right here, and then down to here, and then over to here. I'm not the best at embroidery, so we'll just have to see how this goes. We're going to need our yarn needle again, and then our second color. So we are going to add some stripes here, here, and here. Start out right, right here. I think that would be good. And bring it up to the top right there. I'm just going to have this... Oh, that sound. I'd say that's good enough. Ooh, we're gonna get it through here. God. Um, is that the other end? I hope it's not. It is. Oh no. What are you doing? Get. Oh gosh. This is just a mess. There. Good enough. Hopefully. <laughs> I 
I'm just keep making the stripe thicker. I'd say three is enough. And then back here, you can just do this hole again. Bring it down out here. Oh, that's looking cute, not gonna lie. Very, very cute. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me get some markers because those just did not work. Good enough. <laughs> now we need two stripes over here. There. I do believe we are finished with our little pastel pushing cat. It's very cute. It's so calming him. Just adorable. Yay. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you made a kitty along with me, then thank you so much for spending that time with me. I hope that you ended up with a very cute one like mine. I'm not sure what to name it yet. If you like my videos, please like and comment down below what you think I should make next. And possibly subscribe if you wish. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.